Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome all of you back to another Rage video this Saturday night. And first of all, if you're wondering if maybe the uploads for these videos is a little bit strange, well, I'm actually going to confess something a little bit to you guys. First of all, is that you know how um, Invincible Shield, the actual album, was meant to release on the 8th of March? And if you're watching today, today should be either the 9th or the 10th. So the album should have been out already. But interestingly enough is that this is currently, I'm recording this on the 6th. So I'm recording this on Wednesday, which means that only four of the songs on Invincible Shield have actually been released. So, and because there's at least 14 songs on this album... I'm going to have to come back a little bit and check uh, a little bit more of this out. So I do apologize, but the advantage of doing it this way means that, to be honest, I get to just enjoy this album all to myself. And considering what, uh, how absolute badass, how absolutely like, uh, it's. I I wish I could describe exactly sort of like the the feelings surrounding this album surround those of heroism of strength, determination, and the very real causes of just an all-out war of the mind. Let's go further. This this is like going through hell, but we're going through hell together. We are together as like a team, and we're going to do this as one. So let's keep going. The Serpent and the King. <laughs> Yes. 
And, ladies and gentlemen, as like almost a way to almost like just roll out this somewhat introduction to uh, Invincible Shield. I think one thing I can absolutely guarantee for you guys at home is the fact that this like legitimately has the sort of the capabilities that people would have expected like in the mid 80s out of um, Judas Priest. This is the sort of thing you could have expected on stuff like Turbo Lover or even the fact that just there's too much of what goes on on this album that I'm absolutely not convinced that you honestly, th th this this is the sort of thing that absolutely should just like, why don't people like, I, I know Fine World Judas Priest has so many followers across different generations, but let's, guys, think about this, is that this is like, this is like, this is, I, I almost think this is like, a, this is like the tidal wave of British metal, you know? You know how there was, you got your new wave of British metal in the 80s, and now you got like the stuff that's happening 40 years later, and many of these guys are still around, and it just, it, it boggles the mind a little bit to know that actually, why are these things, these things, these guys never get their dues in like mainstream attention? And I know it's probably because it's some, some subject matter is a bit much, but guys, think about what you're missing out on. I mean, seriously, it's, yeah, Screaming for Vengeance is like the absolute best way to almost like to compare this. In fact, to be honest, I know that, again, the, the, if there's only like one criticism I can make towards this uh, song, I guess, is the fact that well, maybe this out, al maybe the album artwork is like yes, it's a shield. But remember, in stuff like um, "Screaming for Vengeance," you got an entire eagle literally soaring, like entirely made out of fifty shades of metal. Or how about the one for um, that 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 giant cat thing that literally leaps out of the camera? Or even in "Painkiller," where this uh, winged uh, cy cybernetic angel is riding. A, a motorcycle with blades for wheels and a dragon's head for like a front cover. I, I but then again, I suppose the colors are like a, a pretty neat clash, I suppose. But what I must also again in, uh, put into place, ladies and gentlemen, is that Judas Priest also have this great knack throughout the years of really almost like laying out a level of story in their songs mm -hmm. and also the music is just accompanies this like perfectly and in that very ladies and gentlemen i legitimately kind of like i'm gonna have to like probably go over more of this by the time we get like full access to in fact to be honest i'll tell you what i'll do i'll actually go out and buy the copy of invincible shield that's what i'm gonna do and so whether they like it or not, I will be covering this album for front, back from front to back, because this album, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, there is something magic about this album. I think it's just comes down to the fact that it's like Judas, it's like Judas Priest never taking their foot off the gas, ever, and you could sense that from a mile away. So, thank you so much, I am Aiden, and I can't wait to all of you guys again in the next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.